We think of healthcare and life sciences as really great opportunities for AI. One way that AI is already starting to impact and transform healthcare is the ability to take in information from the medical record, take in information that may have been published in studies, also help to provide potential treatment options. Doctors spend as much as 30 to 40 percent of their time just trying to go through these medical records to get information so that they can then begin to understand the patient better. There's actually quite a few ways AI can transform healthcare. If you're a patient, or even if you're a doctor, you wouldn't want just the answer, just the potential treatment. What you would also like to understand is why? What led you to that conclusion? One of the projects that we're working on is the ability to not just provide that answer, but also to provide rationale. More and more images are being taken. Our cameras are accessible, we have video, we have images. Even in the healthcare field, more images are being taken, many more new devices that are not only radiology and x-ray, but even dermatology is being revolutionized by devices that project light onto the skin. The problem is we refer to this as unstructured data, meaning the machines can't automatically compute on them. That makes it difficult for the machines to operate and to give advice. What AI is doing is to use those same sorts of techniques to recognize patterns within the images and then to point out what those patterns are representative of to a doctor. The project here is that we use machine learning to look across many, many different patterns of structure and functions. And so we're literally talking about taking down a process that may take weeks, you know, months for a human down to minutes. I think that in 20 years, what will get more robust is the system underneath that can accelerate the doctor to have the right information at their fingertips to do a much better job and be able to take all of that into consideration to make a diagnosis.